hi welcome now i am going to show you how to create a pivot table and uh, rename the field names okay with the column or field in a pivot table you want to rename it how can we do that okay what i have is the about uh, uh, 277 uh, records of uh, products okay and their respective sales for each month january february march and april okay and uh, the respective customer category whether it is new or old and country okay so this is our source data and i'm going to use this source data to create a pivot table okay after creation then i want to rename the columns okay how can we do that okay now what i'm going to do is that i just select and to do the pivot table i just selecting the columns and uh, insert pivot table the selection already came here as table or range so this is our source data and where do you want to put the pivot table to be placed a new worksheet or existing worksheet i want it in an existing worksheet which is uh, i already have it here rename fields so i just uh, click that one and uh, go to any cells of this uh, where I want the pivot table to be okay other things uh, add this data to the data model I am not uh, worrying about this now and uh, probably we will see it in a different video later okay press ok then uh, what I have is the product so I pro select the product on row wise and the category wise in the column wise and uh, the value of count of the products okay this is what i have now okay now our objective is to change the labels okay the product name okay the column wise i want it to be this one as products okay so i just put a So just click and type it as as you want it okay what is the name wanted products okay this way you can change the names okay column labels you can change it to double click and what is it category okay you can see in the category new or old is already there okay so this is the category and product i change the names now inside the calculation you have the count of product okay how can you do that when you double click you can just put a product counts or just count okay or you can go here and uh, value field or settings okay you can go here here right click value field settings you can have the custom name okay you can give your own custom name okay uh, it's instead of count you can say transactions the number of transactions or uh, okay I'll say number of transactions okay you can see here the number of transactions came here okay so this is the way this one also the field settings you can change the name either double click directly on the name itself or go to the field settings and change the custom name okay use the custom name to give you a meaningful names for row and column labels okay this is the way you can give uh, for uh, your pivot table change the names to meaningful names and make it more understandable and meaningful to you okay or if you are using in a uh, presentation you these names will help the customers to understand what you are talking about okay instead of row labels and uh, column labels and so on okay hope uh, this video is uh, very helpful to you and if you like my videos please give a like as well as you can see in this screen uh, this uh, subscribe button is there press on the Alan Sam uh, uh, logo you will get a, a subscribe uh, option then you just subscribe uh, then you won't miss any of our videos 
okay and also please leave your comments and uh, suggestions it will help us to improve our videos further and uh, god bless you